Uh, the conventional wisdom in, in Washington, of course, is that the Republican Party is likely to take control of Congress, um, at least the House, in next year's elections. Historically speaking, they have a good chance of doing that. If that happens, that will mean any senior Republican, anybody who's you know, the top Republican on a committee right now, or who used to be a committee chair the last time Republicans were in charge. All top Republicans, all leading Republicans are gearing up to take back over and wield power again under the assumption that they're going to do well in next year's elections. You know, particularly being a committee chair, if you're in line for that sort of thing, committee chairs, it's a boring couple of words, but they kind of run the show on Capitol Hill. They kind of run the legislative branch. So the Republicans who are potentially in line for those leadership jobs, if the Republicans take control again, they're really stoked right now. I mean, they are making their promises. They are raising money. They are planning their staff hires. They're doing all the horse trading they need to do among themselves to maximize the powers they think they're about to get. It's a really heady time. If you're a Republican who's expecting your party to take back control and you're expecting to be one of the power brokers, once that happens. So that's kind of the conventional wisdom in terms of what's going on right now in Washington looking ahead toward next year's elections. But contra that, <laughs> in tonight's news, there's news that Republican Congressman Devin Nunes is quitting Congress. Now, he is definitely one of the people who's in line for a major gig if Republicans win the elections and do well next year. I mean, the last time Republicans were in control in Congress, Devin Nunes was chair of the incredibly powerful Intelligence Committee. He's in line, if they win next year, to be the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, which might be an, an even more powerful job than running Intel. But nevertheless, as of tonight, we learned that he is quitting Congress altogether, effective immediately, basically. He's leaving at the end of this month. Why would he walk away right now? especially when he's poised to have some real power. Well, he's walking away because instead of that power in Congress, he would apparently prefer to become the CEO of former President Trump's new media company. Huh. That media company, we also learned today, is under federal investigation by the Securities and Exchange Commission, as well as an agency called FINRA, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. The latter agency typically investigates things like illegal insider trading. The other agency, the SEC, appears in this case to be investigating whether or not the whole Trump media launch might have been illegally structured as a way to raise hundreds of millions of dollars. So it's already under federal investigation by two powerful agencies. Naturally, you'd give up one of the most powerful jobs in government to go do that instead. That's not weird at all. That doesn't suggest anything weird about the perceptions of corruption adjacent to government service in this country. 